So welcome back guys. This is the second part of our Learn Ethereum Development Full Stack Tutorial. And uh, in the first part we have been setting up our uh, development environment we do need for uh, this tutorial series. We have been setting up and creating a React project from scratch. We have been installing Hardhat, which is our uh, local Ethereum development environment. And Hardhat is providing us with a default project setup uh, with the default smart contract implementation in Solidity and with a local blockchain which we can use to deploy our smart contract later on to and uh, try out a few things. So this is the starting po point now for the second part. Um, the second part now is uh, about diving a little bit deeper into the topic, exploring the hardhead project, exploring uh, the smart contract and uh, let's get started. So I'm back here in Visual Studio Code and have already opened up the project we have created in the first part. And uh, now the first thing I would like to draw your attention to is uh, the folder contracts, which is available here. And uh, as already explained, this folder contracts is used by Hardhat. Um, this is a location where all our smart contract implementation files are stored and uh, as you can see here we have one default file which is already available here when um, creating this uh, hardhead project as we did the last time and that's a greeter.soul file and um, by that extension here by that file extension sol you can already guess that this is um, indicating that this smart contract is implemented in the Solidity programming language, which is a language of choice when implementing smart contracts for the Ethereum blockchain. And uh, what we can see here is just a default implementation. Um, don't worry if you are not familiar with Solidity already. It's a programming language which is, um, which is very good, understandable, if you have been working, for example, with uh, JavaScript before in web development. Um, so it should be very easy to get familiar to Solidity. And if you really want to read more about Solidity and uh, maybe get some basic introduction to uh, this programming language and have uh, a reference, if you would like to look something up, you can always go to docs soliditylang.org where you can find the official documentation of the Solidity programming language um, and this is a very extensive uh, documentation here you can find all the details you can uh, find uh, the information what's the latest version of uh, this programming language um, yeah and that's uh, a very good starting point for getting some very basic and advanced information for the Solidity programming language. Okay, let's return to our project. So back here into the default implementation of the Greeter smart contract. And let's go step by step through that file and uh, you will see that this is uh, a very easy to understand smart contract implementation. Uh, things are very simple in, in this case here because it's uh, just a default implementation. Um, it starts with the uh, pragma statement here with pragma solidity and then it's indicating that uh, this implementation requires a solidity compiler which is uh, later on taking care of that implementation when compiling it uh, which is greater than version 0 0.8 so everything above is okay but at least the compiler version for solidity needs to be 0 0.8 okay then it goes on with an import statement here. So by using an import statement, you can import um, uh, code from, from an external file. And this is importing something which is coming from uh, the console.sol file, which is part of the hardhead package. Um, and by importing it, it gives us access, later on we will see it here in the implementation, to output just some debugging information, some text information to the console, which is a very handy debugging tool here uh, when dealing with hardhead. Because we are hosting our 
our blockchain we are working with locally here in Hardhat. It's running its server locally. We have the opportunity to print out things just to the, uh, the terminal, um, uh, which which makes it very easy to generate some some output and uh, receive feedback on the terminal to, to see if things are working and uh, output debugging information, basically. Okay, then the implementation starts here and it's very similar to, for example, implement um, a class, but as we would like to implement a smart contract, the right keyword here for Solidity is, of course, contract. Uh, and then it is followed by the name of the smart contract we would like to implement. And this, in that case here is a greeter because this uh, smart contract, it's, uh, it's all about managing um, a greeting string and outputting a greeting information to the user. So uh, it all starts here. Uh, we are defining one property here, which is a string property, which is a private one, because this greeting property should only be accessible from, from within that smart contract. Uh, that is the property where we are uh, storing uh, the greeting information into. And then we have a constructor here. And you can see this constructor is taking over um, a string parameter here, which is the greeting information. And inside that smart, this uh, constructor here for this smart contract, two things are happening. Uh, the first thing is we are using the ability to output things to, to the terminal by using console.log. The log function here then is expecting to, um, to get um, parameters which contains the text information which should be outputted to the terminal, to the console. And uh, what we are outputting here is first of all, the static text deploying a greeter with a greeting, and then it's followed by the greeting message, which gets passed into the constructor when a new instance of the greeter smart contract is created. And then last but not least, we are using this one, um, which is passed in here, which is underscore greeting, and assign that value to the internal property greeting, so that we now have stored it here into the greeter smart contract and we can access it from the other functions here. We have two more functions inside that smart contract. We have, first of all, we have the greet function here and we have the set greeting function. And you maybe can already guess from those two names what each of the function is doing. The first function, the greet function, is just returning um, the greeting message here. So um, it needs to be defined in that way here, and uh, it's uh, just returning that internal property. And then we have the second function here, which is set greeting, which can be used to set a new greeting string, which is then stored internally in the property greeting. Therefore, it gets passed in uh, another string value here, and that's again, underscore greeting, and um, this then is assigned to the greeting property here again, like it uh, is assigned in the constructor as well. So, and the new greeting string and the information that the greeting has been changed is outputted again as yeah, some kind of debugging information here by using the uh, log function from the console package again. So, um, that's it. That's a very simple smart contract uh, implementation. I think that's a good starting point for getting a little bit familiar with uh, the uh, smart contract implementation in general, with the Solidity programming language. Um, and now as Hardhead is providing us with such a default implementation, we later on can use uh, this greeter smart contract implementation for trying out a few things like deploying it to uh, the local blockchain, testing it, and um, yeah, so on. Okay, so next thing I would like to take a look at is uh, um, something which is hardhead providing by default as well, and that is located here within the scripts folder, and uh, the file name is sample-script.js. Um, and that's, um, that's a deployment script which is needed because now we have seen we have that sample smart contract, the greater smart contract, and to deploy it to a blockchain, 
um, hardhead requires to use a deployment script. And uh, what we can find here in that file is the default implementation of a deployment script, which is deploying the greeter smart contract. And uh, what we can see here is that first of all, we have a require statement here, which is requiring the hardhead package um, and which is storing a reference to hardhead in uh, this object here. And then we have a main function and this main function then here is executed um, basically and uh, the deployment process is happening within the main function. So what is happening here? Um, we have, first of all, um, we have that line of code here, which is creating an instance of the greeter smart contract by using the hardhead object dot ethers dot get contract factory. And this get contract factory um, method is requiring to pass in the name of the smart contract uh, for which an instance should be created. And in our case, of course, that's the greeter smart contract. And this instance is then um, stored here in, uh, in greeter with a capital, with a capital letter. And then we have a greeter with a non-capital letter here which is then getting the result, which is returned when calling greeter.deploy, which is deploying the smart contract. And what is, what is happening here is that, um, of course, uh, the instance is, is created on the blockchain by deploying it. And uh, this involves in the background calling the constructor. And we have seen that the constructor of the greeter smart contract is expecting to get passed in the string value, which is then used to initialize the internally managed greeting string. And so what needs to be passed here to deploy is, um, is the value, the parameter, which is then handed over to the constructor. And in our case, it's a greeting string and that's hello hardhead by default. Um, and then finally, we need to call greeter.deployed um, by using the await keyword here because that's happening asynchronously. Um, and that is uh, returned uh, once the deployment process is being concluded um, and the smart contract is available on the blockchain. And then finally, what's happening here is that a statement to the terminal is printed out, just informing us that greeter deployed to, and then we can access the address on the blockchain where the smart contract is now available by using greeter.address, and this address is added to the output. Okay. So before trying it out and using this deployment script actually to um, to deploy our greeter smart contract to Hardhead's local blockchain, let's get into the details of the Hardhead configuration file, which is uh, also part of the uh, of the things um, Hardhead generated here in the project for us. And uh, this file can be found in hardhead.config.js. You can see it here. Um, it uh, starts with a section here, which is um, implementing um, a so-called hardhead task. We will not into the go, in, go into the details of, uh, of ta tasks right now, but um, you can find um, a section which is used to contain all, all sorts of um, configuration uh, settings. And that's the section here, which is assigned to module.exports. And we have one uh, setting here, which is included by default. And that's um, the setting, which is, uh, which is setting the Solidity version here to 0 0.8.4. And uh, I will add um, a networks property here um, as well. And um, within that section, I will add um, a hardhead entry because uh, the hardhead uh, network is, um, or the hardhead um, entry here is uh, representing the hardhead blockchain, which is running locally. And uh, so I'm assigning an object here, uh, which 
uh, is containing a property which is called chain ID and this gets assigned just a value here for identification um, and that's what I'm adding here okay and uh, if you want to find out more about settings you can apply here in the configuration file again you can look at hardhats website there is a documentation about the configuration file available listing you all the options you have to configure hardhat here we will use it later on when deploying to um to um a non-local blockchain for example one of the um, test nets which are available for uh, ethereum then we will return here and extend the networks section but for now we are just using the local one okay so okay so let's deploy our smart contract and uh, one thing i will do for that is i will rename um, this deployment script here, which is by default uh, named sample-script.js. Um, let's maybe rename it to... Um, let's use deploy. So deploy.js, that's much, much better. And uh, then, of course, uh, the prerequisite for uh, running the deployment script is that we already have started up the hardhead server, which we um, did the last time instead uh, it is not running um, let's switch to the terminal once again um, you can start it up by just using npx hardhat with option node and this is starting everything up and now you have seen it already the last time it prints out 20 test accounts for uh, this uh, blockchain we can use and we will use later on but for now we need to keep that running here and then i'm opening up here the uh, integrated terminal in uh, visual studio code and here i'm now running the deployment script by using npx hardhat once again with option run and I, then I need to pass over the uh, name of the deployment script and our deployment script is in the scripts folder and the name is deploy.js uh, and then I'm using the option um, minus minus network and here we are using um, localhost okay so let's hit return and see what is happening here and now you can see we are getting back a message here uh, which is saying greeter deployed to and then it's outputting an address on the blockchain and this output is coming and we have seen it before if i go back here to our deployment script this output is coming directly from the deployment script that's the line which is responsible for producing that output here and we are getting back the address on the blockchain and this is indicating that everything has been deployed successfully otherwise we wouldn't have getting back um, an address at the blockchain um, so this is quite what we have expected and another thing we can now check because we have just deployed a new instance of greeter but we haven't been interacting with the smart contract so far but the smart contract has been created a new instance of greeter has been created and if you remember if we take a look here at greeter.sol we have that output here which uh, is printing out uh, the information deploying a greeter with greeting and then the greeting string here right in the constructor so where is this output and if i return to the terminal um, which i have used to uh, start up the um, hardhead server you can see that exactly this output can be found here deploying a greeter with greeting and it's using this greeting string here which is coming again from the string we have been passing in when deploying it so right here in the deployment script um, which has been passed into the deploy uh, method here and which then has been passed on to the constructor and uh, is then used in the constructor to set the internal greeting value and to output it to the console and that's exactly what we can see here so everything is working fine we have deployed our first smart contract and that's uh, a great first step